Saturday morning from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. Third Walmart in a row in Nova Scotia. We've actually not yet camped in a campground yet in Nova Scotia. And that might change. It depends what our plans are. Today's Saturday, so we've got two days of exploring before we want to settle somewhere for most of the week. A week from today, we leave for Newfoundland. So, this is the town of Barrington, Nova Scotia. On a Saturday, it's like yard sale day. Everybody's selling crap on the side of this road. This is pretty much the southernmost point. You can go down a little bit into Cape Sable Island, but that's it. Southernmost point of Nova Scotia. So we're rounding the bottom and we're starting to head back up a little. There's not a whole lot to do. We're going to try to hit this beach. See how that looks. Right, let's go check out this park. Provincial Park. No hunting or trapping. Sandy Hills Beach Provincial Park in Nova Scotia. There's nobody here. We're the only car in the parking lot. There's like this giant picnic area. Oh boy, a snake! It's okay. Look at the snake. There was a snake. I don't think that was poisonous though. Mama doesn't like snakes either. I don't like it either. Mama's almost gonna cry. <laughs> Did you see the snake, Luca? Don't look for it. Let's go. Don't look for the snake. I didn't see it. She doesn't like snakes. Do you like snakes, Ava? Sort of. You do? No, I, I don't like snakes, but... You don't like snakes. They look cool, but I don't want them next to me. Yeah, they look cool. <laughs> Very traumatizing for Mila. She was the first to see it. Right when she saw it, she got very excited. And then, immediately after, she started crying. It was just a little snake. It's like a little garden snake or something. It's right there. We are here! At the beach! It's pretty warm, huh? It's very warm here and humid. Oh, yeah, we can just climb down from here. But I think if you go to the right, there must be steps to go down. How do I get back up if I jump down? Hey, Luca's down there. Two more people are here, huh? Where do they go? Beach place, off the beach. Yeah. See, first nobody's here. And then everybody follows us. Yeah. All right. I made some meat and onions, some rice, and salad. And we're eating it in the parking lot. No, this is better. Nobody's here anyways. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm we did a decent job super, super of eating. Bite oh my gosh, Mila. Can... How big a bite did you just put in your mouth? Uh, look, 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 <sighs> look, look when I bite it in a little bit. Are you eating like a chipmunk? <laughs> I 
Olha o chimpanzito. It's another good stop today. Not as good as the last couple days, per se. Not as exciting. This is just a, a quiet little provincial park in Nova Scotia. We had a quiet place to set up, not be bothered by people. We also took really cold showers right here. That is full water pressure, but really, really cold. I'll show you what it looks like. Ooh, look at that water pressure. It's freezing cold. So we took showers, the kids didn't. They wouldn't be into taking cold showers in their bathing suit outside. I don't know, maybe they would. But three Walmarts in a row, no campground. That means we need showers. And even though we're going to be at a campsite probably tomorrow night, at the latest, Monday, we uh, yeah, took care of that today. So we could go a little longer before we get to a campground. Because what it's looking like right now is that it's going to take us a couple days to get out to Cape Breton Highlands National Park. Today, we're going to try to get to Lunenburg and go look at the reproduction of the Blue Nose 2. The original Blue Nose schooner ship um, was also based out of Lunenburg. But that boat has long been destroyed and decommissioned. So there was a second Blue Nose called the Blue Nose 2 that was built by some rich family and used it for like their business and also for their leisure. That was sold to the Canadian government. And then that just recently went through a refit, which was like a controversial, expensive, and they didn't actually change the name even though the entire boat was basically replaced with the new boat, they're still calling it the Blue, the Blue Nose 2, which I believe just got completed like within the last couple of years. The controversy was that the, um, they weren't committed to doing an exact replica based on the original plans when they did a refit, and they also went way over budget. I think this thing cost like 19, 20 million dollars several million dollars over budget so it's not the original but it's going to be close it's going to be cool nonetheless this part of nova scotia is really far south as compared to the rest of canada the only part of canada that's further south than that is that little part where toronto is at and in fact this is the southernmost part of canada that we've ever been to because we've never been to toronto We've only been to what, whatever's on the other side of Buffalo, and that's further north than here. So, the area that we were just at and are leaving now is almost more south than the entire state of Maine, and most of New Hampshire and most of Vermont is north of here. So, that's pretty cool. As far as like weather goes, I bet the weather here is much nicer or more moderate than a lot of uh, a lot of the northeast, that part of the northeast anyways. It's not gonna be like this for long because we know where we're headed anyways. Uh, they could get snow in the middle of September. In fact, overnight temperatures there on the average, late September is gonna be in the 30s. So, which is why we're hurrying. We thought we had a lot more time, but because we're doing Trans-Labrador Highway, that time window is shrinking by a lot. Second provincial park of the day. We made it to Risser's, I think. Risser? Risser Provincial Park. It is uh, not too far from Lunenburg, which means it's not that far from Halifax. This park, we can go under this tunnel and out to the beach on the other side. Everybody's leaving the beach. We just got here. These provincial parks have been awesome because they're free for day use. 
Whereas a lot of the state parks in the U.S. and even provincial parks, I think in Western Canada, you have to pay to get there. Okay, this one's called Risser's Beach or Ricer's Beach. I don't know. Ooh. But they have their boogie boards. Mila, I hear waves. They have their boogie boards. Yeah. Is there surfing here? I know. Oh, they're very little waves. I would the That's a nice beach. Yeah. There's nice little waves. This would be fun for boogie boarding. If we had one. Yeah. <laughs> if we had one. Would you go if we had one? Probably too cold. Yeah. Daddy, if we had booty, would we not be traveling? Oh, well, I'm sure we will. We're just traveling something a little bigger. Like an old picture? Yeah. Or the, like a van or something? Yeah, one or the other. This is the first legit beach we've been to in the Maritimes. Are you going to be a lifeguard? You gotta put white stuff on your nose. Yeah. yeah. Hey, SpongeBob, I didn't know you were a lifeguard. 